so today while i was using my sql i got this error telling me that my sql shut down unexpectedly so this may be due to a blocked port missing dependencies improper privileges or a shutdown by another method so it's telling me to I need to press the locks button to view error locks and check the windows event viewer for more clues so even if i press the locks so this is, let me just try to if i can find if there is anything wrong so this is my locks file so it's telling me that uh, okay you don't seem to understand anything right here so so i figured out how we can solve this error for my sql so let me just repeat if it works for the last time So you see that status change detected and it's the same same error so we are going to solve this problem so to solve this problem we need first to open the mysql folder so this is my sum control panel so we can just press the explorer right here so click on this explorer link this one so it will take you to the sum installation so find my sql folder so this is my sql find my sql click on it so here we are so the first the first step is that uh, we are going to rename the folder data to data old so let's do that let's do that So this is the data we shall rename it to data old okay that's done second step make a copy of backup folder and name it as data so that's a copy of backup folder and then we name it data so this is the backup you can copy paste and rename as data that's done that's done step three copy all your database folders from data old into data the new data so except except this one except my sql performance schema and php my admin folders so let's do that social copy we shall copy all of our database folders so just find yours and copy i will copy mine so as you remember accept performance schema except php my admin and accept my sql 
so we shall leave this three strictly let's copy our database folders to data the new data folder so that's done we shall proceed to step four step four we shall copy the data hold ib data one so this file into the newest data folder so let's do that let's go to data hold find the high b data one file so this is the file copy to data replace okay so the next step third we shall start my sql and see if the process is working okay so let me so close and uh, we shall try to open again we shall try to launch let me start and finally it has just worked as you can see here yeah, it's working so this is the pid and port 3306 so i hope this video has actually helped you and uh, if that's the case i do want you to please do subscribe and like this video and also i'll be bringing you more fixes in the next video so don't forget to subscribe smash that subscribe button and i will see you in the next fix see you and have a nice time